Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I am your host Mark Fusco here for another episode of the show. Uh, so we are now doing the Running Hair uh, Pinot Grigio. So uh, we'll put the thing up there, there you go, non-vintage uh, Running Hair Pinot Grigio. We're going to rinse out Friday's wine, which again, really pretty good. I like when I have good wine that I can be excited about. Now, Pinot Grigio, for me, is, is a varietal that I tend to really enjoy. Um, if you watched Sommelier School <coughs> last week, you'll know that uh, I talked about Pinot Grigio being my first encounter with Italian white wines versus Suave. So, um, we're going to uh, check this out. Now, they... Um, since I read all the, the medals that the other one got, I'll read the medals here, too. Uh, so, 2009 gold medal for the Dallas Morning News International Wine Competition. Maryland Governor's Cup for 08, the silver medal. And the California 2009 Grand Harvest uh, bronze medal. Uh, they say that this is their, uh, it's their most popular wine. So, I'm really excited about trying it. I kind of went through the history on Friday's episode, so if you didn't watch it, and why didn't you? You need to go back and watch it. So you can hear all of the history about the about the vineyard. So I'm not going to repeat it. That's right. Anyway, so let's check it out. Definitely got some nice aromas here. Um, they say they have bright citrus aromas and beautiful smooth, and a beautifully smooth and balanced mouth feel. I do like the nose. It's like fleshy fruit I'm getting out of it. I mean, what I picture is mandarin oranges, but it's, it's not mandarin oranges. It's not even close to that, but... And I get a little bit, I get a little bit of heat. Um, these, these, well, I can't remember which one was what. As far as the alcohol, this one is 13.9. I think the other one was 14. No, they're both 13.9. Anyway, um, I can smell a little alcohol, but that's not a bad thing. But I'm definitely getting that, that, it's almost a candy flavor, but it's not like over the top candy. Um, God. Just the citrus. I really am getting the citrus. Let's, let's taste it and see how it is. I think I'll like it. trying to savor it because it's real interesting. There's, there's definitely some acid into this. You've got some, uh, you've got the citrus. I like this better than the Chardonnay. But then again, I'm going to be a little bit biased towards Pinot Grigio versus Chardonnay. than the other one. Kudos. Kudos, Mike. Um, I think I'm going to give this a 90. And uh, you know, I, I'm getting the acid on it. I mean, this is all room temperature, so Mike, I hope you're not cringing that I'm drinking this at room temperature and I didn't chill it. But that's when I do the evaluations. I usually open the bottles anyway two to three hours ahead of time. So even if they were chilled, they're going to be room temperature by the time I start drinking them anyway. Um, though I might chill these a little bit for, for when we eat dinner. I like the, I like the fruit flavor 
flavors to it. Um, I don't get that candy-esque um, uh, feeling on, on the palate, but I'm getting the um, I'm getting the citrus flavor. I'm getting the acid on it. Uh, nothing specific on the citrus, but but it's really I think it, it, it goes it does have a good mouthfeel. I don't know if it's balanced, but it has a smooth mouthfeel. I definitely like it. And I know we're having pasta tonight, and I can smell it. But all the wines I've been able to smell and pick up stuff that has nothing influenced by the pasta. But <coughs> I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna drink this with with uh, what we're having tonight. Even though I know we're gonna have some red sauce with it, I think this will I think this will stand up to that. And the reason why, and again, it's not the normal pairing, but I think this is gonna go well with the sausage we're gonna have. It's gonna go really well with the sauce we're gonna have. I got four wines to choose from. We got these two. I got the fire hose, and I have the Colin Bell. So we're gonna have a variety of wines to to. To pair, good wine, definitely like it. Uh, I didn't mention the price uh, again; it's between twenty and twenty-five bucks. Amy uh, up in up in well, shoot, in Virginia, but Maryland. Uh, my old buddy from Dave and Buster's. Thank you very much for sending both of these wines. Uh, I really enjoy them. Um, go to their website. I didn't mention it on the Friday show, but I know there's a link on it. Uh, go to their website. They even have a Facebook page, which I'm trying to remember to link up their Facebook page, and I got to make sure I friend them up too. Um, I don't think I, I don't think I'm their friend right now. If not, I will be. But um, yeah, it's uh, check out their website. You, you can't order it from them, but you can get on their mailing list, um, and they'll have a listing of where you can buy it. And it looked like it was mostly Maryland and Virginia, Maryland, 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 Maryland. It looks like it's all Maryland. Anyway. Um, that's going to be it for today's show and uh, yeah there's a whole bunch of places in Maryland you can get it and so if you're in the Maryland area or if you're, if you're in a border state go out and look for this wine both of them any of them if, if, if these two are an indication of how good the wine is I'd say any of the wines that they put out have got to be pretty good uh, and they've got some <clears throat> they've got some really unusual ones. So, and I hear the Sangiovese. Amy tells me the Sangiovese is to die for. So, I don't know what rabbit's foot is. Look at that up. We'll see if it's probably a blend of something. Ah, Tremonette. I don't know what that is, but it's it, it, never heard of it. So, the Tremonette grape. Bet you that's good. On sale. Oh, you can buy it at the vineyard, too. While supplies last. 20% off. So, um... They got a bunch of stuff. They got they've got uh, Chambrosin and Cayuga, uh, which is an American varietal. Uh, one thing I did mention: um, both of them say American white wine. Now, typically, you'd go an American white wine. Seriously, this is pretty good. Uh, but American white wine is the most generic uh, appellation or whatever that you can get for a, an American wine. So. It, it doesn't say Maryland on it, and I don't know. And that was going to be one of the questions I was going to ask Mike. What, why is it American white wine instead of, like, Maryland, at least? or, or So uh, it could also just be my ignorance that maybe Maryland doesn't have any AOCs or ACs or whatever you want to call it. So they may not have anything, so they have to call it American white wine. Um, I should probably research that before I ask. But definitely good wine. I'd say seek it out. That's it. We'll see everybody again on, oh, excuse me on Wednesday.